YouTube, you crazy people. Thank you very much for uh, clicking on this video and uh, coming back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and uh, show some love. Today, I'd like to do uh, my one year review on the E-Turtle, which is a product by Helite, and it's an air vest. Now I've pretty much worn an air vest since 2016. Uh, professionally and for social riding and uh, I've got to say for me what an amazing piece of kit it has been to add to my personal protection and uh, I had the standard jacket first 2016 I wore that for nearly two years until 2018 uh, that jacket actually saved my life in a horrific uh, road accident that uh, planets were aligned I just there was no way of getting out of it you know that what if and uh, that jacket that day which was a tethered version really did save my life there were a few years on now and I've actually had the e-turtle now uh, for just over a year and uh, I thought do you know what it's about time I did my one year review on this product and I've got to say I absolutely love it I'd wear any he light um, product uh, whether it be tethered or electronic but for me the electronic one it really is a game changer more so because uh, I ride a, a Tiger 800 and I like to stand up in the pegs quite a lot and uh, with being untethered that pretty much allows me to do so uh, without lengthening in that lanyard which obviously shortens your firing pin um, or your reaction time through the firing pin so when he like sent me um, the e turtle, then uh, for me, I thought you know that's that's a game changer. It gives exactly the same as uh, their other product. Um, the quality of of the, their garments, whether it be a vest, a jacket, um, a GP um, track vest, which has got a hole in the back so it will go over your hump in your leathers, that just they take air products to the next level and uh, in the UK there's an amazing guy called Pete this is Pete it's 20 kilos yeah so that's two-thirds that's why it's not going yeah that's 20 all right you ready yeah, yeah. oh yeah and that man really did save my life he saved my life by issuing me with one of these vests and I mean, obviously at the time I didn't know who was saving my life. I just thought it's something I'd like to add to my personal protection. Um, you know, we all spend a lot of money on a decent crash helmet. And yeah, they're not cheap. And, uh, but, you know, I can spend up to £500 on a crash helmet. And once that's gone down the road, it's done. You know, it's done its job and it's done. Different with this product is, uh, once you crash in it, it's not done. You know, it's not a, a one it wonder and uh, today I've got to change the bottle in this one because I crashed in it. Um, so I've now crashed in uh, every air vest that Helite have ever made from their standard to their turtle, um, which were both lanyard vests and now the e-vest. So two days ago, I had uh, quite an epic high side at 50 mile an hour. The bike just says, time for you to get off and this jacket did its job it uh, inflated in such a quick time and uh, really did save me from a lot of misery pain and broken bones so i'm going to show you how to change the bottle in it today and uh, that's one thing i do like about the helot range is the fact that you know you don't have to send it back even on the smallest of offs, if you set your jacket off, even for you guys that wear the lanyard version, if you step off your bike, which you've got to give it some force to do it, but you set your jacket off, it doesn't mean you've got to send it back, it just means you've got to replace the bottle. And uh, it's so easy to do. And I will do another video to show you how easy it is to change the bottle in the tethered version, because that's a different process totally. Um, the E-Turtle actually is a much easier process it's just pretty much a case of unscrewing the bottle and plugging a new one in but for me what do I think to this product I won't ride without it um, I'm never going to tell anybody what you should ride in what you shouldn't ride in that's the beautiful thing about motorcycles 
is the freedom of choice. And we wear what we want to wear, you know. For me, I'm getting old now, you know, I don't, uh, I don't bounce like I used to for sure. And um, this really was a product, was the best thing that I've ever added um, to my personal protection. It's already saved my life once and it's already saved me from a lot of misery and pain twice. So have a look at the Helight range. Uh, they do, just go onto their website, I'll put the link below. They do so many different garments from touring jackets to vests. I prefer the vest because no matter what uh, what the season is, whether it be winter, summer, autumn, and um, what kit I'm wearing, this will go over the top of it all. Um, so for me, it's very interchangeable and I can wear it with everything I've got rather than having one jacket that, you know, if you just do the summer, then that's great. You know, you could have a summer touring jacket, but I pretty much ride all year. So the vest has always been the, the best option for me. As you can see, this is a year old now and it's been out in all weathers. It's also been down the road um, now with me in it. And I gotta say, there's not a mark on it. Very easy to operate. It's just three clicks of the, the finger and there you go. This one's actually telling me that it will need charging even though um, I was on my fifth day of wearing it. Now I get five days, eight hours a day riding in this vest um, before I need to get a full charge and I actually had the off on my fifth day and I did say to myself in the morning when it started flashing I must charge that later but the fact that it still performed 100% as it should on an amber light is quite reassuring. So don't think to yourself if you own this vest, oh I've got an orange light, I've got to go home. This thing's not going to work. It will definitely work. Um, I've proved that um, with the accident that I had a couple of days ago. And as you can see, I'm perfectly fine and I'll be back on a bike later today. I just need to change the bottle in this vest and give it a charge. So uh, let's do that now. So you've had an off in your Helite E-Turtle air vest like I did two days ago and it's done its job saved your life saved you from uh, having catastrophic injuries uh, what do you do with it next this is the one thing I like about Helite is you just recharge it yourself so pretty much near where the brain is you have your bottle on, on this one because it's obviously an electric trigger And you have your electric firing pin, which is that one. So it's just a case of unscrewing your old bottle. Unplug it. Let's just took that one away. That's the charging one. Unplug it. Take out the old bottle. This is the original bottle that came with the jacket. And uh, obviously it deployed because I left the bike in a uh, 50 mile an hour high side, which I've got to say, the jacket really did do its job. So it's just a case of re-threading that through. Screw your new bottle into place. over tighten it so it's just the end of the the, uh, the thread and then plug in your firing pin you can only you can't plug it into the wrong one this is the charging port and uh, so the actual firing mechanism for the jacket will only plug into one of two cables which is all part of this brain here which is uh, all integrated into this pocket and that's pretty much 
how you recharge your e-turtle so you can wear it again there's no sending it back to where he liked to be checked it's just a pretty much case of you zip the pocket up and you're done to turn on these jackets it's three three to turn it off now i keep my charging cable pretty much in the in this pocket and it's just a case of a usb slot like so goes into this port plug it in and it will charge and that's the Heelite E-Turtle I've got to say what a jacket I've tested all all three versions of their air vest now from the standard to the E-Turtle and I've got to say without this jacket I'd have had a lot more injuries than what I have had I don't get paid to wear these vests and uh, I definitely don't get paid to advertise them I'm only ever going to review and tell you what a product's like if I actually use it and if I've used it for some time and believe me if it's something that's pretty crap I'm going to tell you it's crap but for me this really is an A-star product and one that I will continue to wear throughout my my biking days whether it be professionally or as uh, social riding so thank you very much again for clicking on this video and like I say, I hope this has been uh, quite informative to how the bottle's changed and what my thoughts after a year are. And uh, if it's something that really interests you, get in touch with Pete. If you mention my name, he might even give you a discount. And uh, he's a lovely guy, but definitely have a look at Helite. They're the biggest airbags on the market. 17 litres in this one, which is far bigger than most of the competition. And uh, as they say, bigger is better. And uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, come back, follow our adventures, and um, catch you next time. Stay safe out there.